luckily we have uh, the conservative intellectual Ben Shapiro around who will bring us a much smarter, uh, completely different, well thought out take uh, of the conservative ideology and how they should actually really uh, look at this new law in Georgia, which I'm gonna assume puts the Fox and Friends argument to shame. Let's hear from conservative intellectual Ben Shapiro. Jim Crow explicitly created a separate system of law for black Americans and treated them as inferior. There's nothing in the law like that. That is, that's not only an overstatement, it's just an outright lie. The difference being it's not explicit, so. All right. Well done. But that's, but no, okay, hold on, pause it for a second. Because one of the parts of Jim Crow was poll taxes. That's the same dynamic that we're talking about here. It didn't explicitly say with poll, uh, poll taxes, or, you know, target or, or the quizzing that they would do in order for you to be able to vote. Like, can you name all of the judges in this state, et cetera? They did that and only applied it to black people. And this is the same thing that we're seeing in Georgia and other and in other states. So right off the bat, it's an ahistorical um, premise that he's setting up. Right. Jim Crow explicitly created a separate system of law for black Americans and treated them as inferior. There's nothing in the law like that. That is, that's not only an overstatement, it's just an outright lie. But, says Jamel Hill, all of corporate America should resonate to the lie. The law imposes new voter identification requirements for absentee ballots. Well, clearly that's racist. I mean, you mean you have to show that you are who you say you are when you vote absentee? If you can explain to me how that's racist, I'm willing to hear it. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Uh, I mean, if, if someone was actually in the room, such as myself or Matt Leck or Emma, uh, if, like, if he was actually talking to someone, uh, they would have been able to answer that. It actually, it is racist because it's a lot harder for uh, certain minority groups to access these sort of uh, governmental forms of ID. I mean, you're if asking- You're from urban areas and you don't necessarily drive or need a right. license. Exactly. So, you know, you may not have photo ID in the same way that rural white voters have it, for example. Right. It limits the use of ballot drop boxes. Oh, you mean like ballot drop boxes where people could just stuff the ballot box or take ballots out of the ballot box? That's it. Mm. That, doesn't, that doesn't happen. And why this hurts lower income areas is because they can take ballot drop boxes out of cities and areas where there are more black people. And also because it, it also hurts disabled people, people who may not be able to actually go to the ballot box. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do a point by point thing because this is the only language that speaks to Ben Shapiro, not that he would ever watch this or- right. but, but let him, let him continue. It hands state officials more power over local elections. Even before the legislation passed, many voters of color in Georgia faced hours long queues at the polls. By the way, voter suppression doesn't involve long lines. Any more than long lines at Disneyland are ride suppression. Pause. Oh, uh, there we go. There, there's the there's the Fox and Friends argument. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that in our Constitution it says you have the right to ride on Magic Kingdom. I was unaware. I was unaware, or Magic Mountain, or whatever the hell. I was unaware. Space Mountain. Well, Space I Mountain. gotta I gotta say we don't actually have the full right to vote and try either. <laughs> I mean, it should be, but okay. <laughs> but but I think I, th I think I think the, the bigger hole in his uh, in his uh, argument there is that uh, Disney actually allows you to uh, sign up for a plan that gives you a fast pass and skip the line and go right yeah, up to the ride. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I, it's, that's it's what I remember about Disney is yeah, uh, waiting for the mission to Mars and seeing all these a holes cut the line because they paid an extra like 25 bucks or something for it. No, no, but here's, here's the thing though. Yeah. It costs more, but here's the thing. It's not like you just get to go up and uh, uh, go on the ride. Whenever you go up to the fast pass machine, when you pay for this plan, uh, this plan, and you basically see an assortment of different times where you could come back and go on the ride immediately. So is Ben saying that, mm. We should have a system where you get to like schedule when you go in to vote and just you just get to vote right away. I mean, I don't know if that's such a, a, a out there plan. Actually, if Ben wants people to, it sounds like it'd be even easier to vote if you could just schedule when you vote well, and no. go. 
He's in favor of the fast pass thing, but he just doesn't want to say out loud that white people can only purchase the fast pass. If we want to take that analogy further. And I'm pretty sure you can also schedule that on your phone. So like, that'd be great to be able to like, you know, just go and like, you know, uh, you make, you open up the government voting app, like the fast pass Disney app and you book your time to go and vote and you just go right in, takes one, two, three, no line, no fuss. I'd be down with that. Is that what Ben is advocating for? Tell us Shapiro, tell us. I mean, and the idea that long lines don't suppress people's desire to ride rides is contrary to any experience I have ever had at any kind of amusement park. Because I, yeah, like if there are no lines that day, let's say it's like a, a, a weekday and there's not a weekend crowd, that's much better. And I am much more likely to go ride a lot more rides. Wait, hold on, hold on. I haven't been to Disney in a long time or I'm confusing it with a theme park that does require you to pay extra for the fast pass type of service. But I looked it up. Disney Fast Pass is included in theme park admission. It does not cost you anything extra. So we're not even, we can't even use the example of like, uh, we, we don't want to advocate for people having to pay money to be able to do this voting wise, right? No, Ben's analogy works even more perfectly for no cost. Just you being an American uh, voting uh, age eligible citizen, uh, you should be able to log on to an internet uh, system, book your voting time and go right in and vote whenever you'd please at that time. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Ben. I'm going to, I think we should start writing to our officials and, and, and see if this plan makes any sense. Well, he is the intellectual conservative and th he sparked just a beautiful idea. And yes, I mean, Matt, like how many times, uh, both of you, have you, I I've been to a theme park, you know, a few times in my life. I've literally said, I don't want to stand in that line. Let's do another one. Yeah, right? exactly. That's like, a, that's like the number one thing I remember saying theme parks. <laughs> yeah. And right. like, what's one reason you might not be likely to even go to the theme park at all is like, oh, it's probably gonna be really busy today. Uh, let's yeah. do something else. Uh, let's finish this clip though. Voter suppression doesn't involve long lines any more than long lines at Disneyland are ride suppression. You know what voter suppression is? Voter suppression is where you don't get to vote. That's what happened. Making those ways, yeah, yeah functionally the same thing. Bans, giving food and water to people in line to vote. That's not even true. It bans giving any gift to people in line when they are within 150 feet of the polling place. You can bring water with you. There are people outside who can give you water. This is just not true. No, the, the, the water's considered a gift if someone's giving it to you. What is he talking about? I mean, yeah, if you bring water, you're in the clear. But how many people are going to bring their own water to go vote? Yeah. I mean, the idea that how long they're going to wait until they get there. The idea that the party, like the Democrats, are making people wait in line so they can bribe them with gifts. With water. And is, water of all things, right? It's just fucking ludicrous. It's unbelievably stupid. I got like a, I, I, I've I don't even like it's it it reminds me of the Thirty Rock joke where uh you know her like Liz's loser ex boyfriend is like well I, you know I'm starting a coffee business the one thing about coffee what the where do you get it well like that's the problem I'm stepping on it but whatever yeah you can get water anywhere you don't need to stand in a line to get it listen listen if literally every voter in this country was Adam Sandler in the movie Waterboy. <laughs> Then I can see people going out in droves, waiting hours on voting lines just to get their deliciously refreshing cup of H2O. But I, I don't think we have a country full of uh, Adam Sandler's character in Waterboy. I yeah, I mean, the, that movie in a while. the Democrats, yeah, we can get a hostile uh, audience or, a, or a, 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 what's it called when you get the audience trapped? Um, we'll trap the audience. They'll have to hear our pitches captive to audience. vote. What was that, Emma? Uh, captive, audience. Picture, I, captive audience. Yeah. I'm picture. I'm actually picturing Republicans uh, hearing uh, Adam Sandler's character in Waterboy going out to vote, and they're standing in line going, "Gatorade to get him yeah. to leave." <laughs> if if you're being made to vote, you're not being gifted shit. <laughs> like, water is making up for. Like, you should be getting paid for your time, frankly, uh, for doing your civic duty. Like like you should be gifted. Taking honestly six hours, you should be getting the minimum wage for that shit. Waiting five hours to vote. 
The Democrats are bribing voters with I voted stickers, so. Right, right. I do like those stickers, though, and I actually get a little bit upset when they uh, don't give me one. I got to let them know. Excuse me, where's my sticker? What's going yeah. on? I didn't get one last time either, but I, I was okay with it. <laughs> I got a pen, but then, like, people didn't, I think people didn't believe that I voted as much because I didn't have the sticker. Right. Yeah. You don't, you don't, I don't think your vote counts unless you get the sticker, actually. I think that's one of the ways they get you. <laughs> uh, I think I saw that on Crowders. 